to Louisiana Living. And welcome back. I'm joined now by Melissa Say, director of the Northeast Louisiana Children's Museum. And we're talking about all these fun <laughs> summer camps. So and much fun. I love these ideas. And so today, the etiquette camp. Yes. Everybody could use that. This there were, for kids. There were some fun comments from parents uh -huh. about uh, all the kids that they needed to send there. Yes, and we do, um, so we do different themes of our camps each week. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're just one day camps per week. So um, Mondays are our littles camp and it's kind of a nice little introduction for the four and five year olds to have a little camp experience. Yeah. And so that's that was today and then, and we're close. So we only have our little group that's there, which is kind of nice too. So so we're overly, yeah. overly supervised, which is great. Um, and then Wednesdays, it's Figs Day, and that's the six to nine-year-olds, and they can come and stay from nine to two, and they all have, they have to do is bring a lunch, and we do, you know, all the activities uh, with with the kids. And Etiquette Day was today and Wednesday. So. Okay. Yes. So Wednesday is the big kids. Yes. Is it too late to sign up? No, we still have we still have about four places left for mm -hmm. this Wednesday, and you know they'll learn to set a table. That we'll we're going to play a little you know reward game with please and thank yous yeah. and all kinds of fun little things that, you know, it's nice to learn all that fun stuff. Uh, no, all it's that great. Fun stuff. Uh -huh. Okay, and so the next week, we have a lot of different things. <laughs> so I'm just going to let you w walk like an Egyptian camp. I know. What I know. is that? Well, so one, one of the activities I know they're doing um, is they're going to build a pyramid out of sugar cubes, and they're going to talk right. about the history. It was going to just mm -hmm. be history, but they kind of focused in the girls that are planning them all on Egyptian. Of course, we're going to have to play the song. Uh -huh. You know, have to it's walk like an Egyptian. <laughs> And so all the themes like that one will, will surround, you know, activities and um, some playtime, of course, in the Children's Museum. Some STEM lessons are kind of involved, you know. Um, so they're learning even even while having fun as, you know, it's kind of our motto at the Children's Museum. Talk about some of the other themes. So we're going to do a farm day and I think they're going to milk a cow, mm -hmm. a pretend cow, and they're going to learn about farming. Um, we've got pirates, you know, it's... Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. That's going to be a lot, a lot of, fun. of fun. It's not rated R. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's rated G. Well, that's it. You can't come up with some <laughs> I'm not thinking fast enough. And what about the chef camp? Are they actually yes, cooking? Yes, yes. We're going to do a little cooking. I think they're going to uh -huh. make some edible slime, actually, is one of the one of the things they're going to do. Um, it, it's, you know, it's, a, it's fun. It's messy. It's stuff they do at the museum, and then they leave at the museum, you know, so they don't have to bring, do all the uh, sloppiness at home if they don't want to. But um, that's going to be, actually, that's one of our most popular ones already. So it's, uh, there's a couple of, I think, maybe a couple of spaces left on that one. So this year, tickets are, um, tickets, um, all the information and camp dates and, and, and sign-ups are through our website okay. um, instead of calling the museum. So it's just through our website at nelcm.org, and they can sign up there, pick their dates and times, and and um, take care of it all through through that you know avenue instead of calling the museum, which is great. All right, thank yeah. you so much, Melissa, for yeah. coming on the show. It's great to have you, and uh, good luck at all the camps. Thank you. And still ahead, we'll sit down with local author Rodney Hall to discuss his upcoming book signing at the.